Neat Video is a video noise reduction filter. There are two versions, a home plugin which works with frame sizes up to 720 and a pro plugin which has no limits. After you have purchased your Neat Video plugin, click the installer. Click on Run. The Neat Video filter is ready to be installed. As you can see, the 64-bit filter will be installed for EDIA 7. Click Next and accept the agreement. Click Next. You will see the path of the application. Click Next. And now you will see the path of the plugin for EDS7. The default path will be Program Files, Grass Valley, EDS7, Plugins. Click Next. Click Install. Click Next and Finish. The installation is complete. Now it's time to start EDS7. Go to the Effects Palette and look under Video Filters for the Neat Video Filter. You need to register the Neat Video plugin. This is how to do it. Put a clip on the timeline. Apply the Neat Video Filter. Double click Neat Video in the Information Palette. The registration dialog will open. Input your name, organization, and your registration code as it appears on your invoice received from Neat Video. Also adjust the number of copies if you have more than one. Press OK. Before we actually use the plugin, I suggest that you fine-tune the performance of the plugin for your system. Double-click Neat Video in the Information Palette. Click Configure. Press F10 or go to Tools, Preferences. The Preferences palette will open. Press on the Performance tab. Select Use CPU and GPU. Press Benchmark and let it run. After it has completed, click Optimize and then Start. When this has finished, Neat Video will suggest to accept the best combination. If you look at the best combination and check the frame rate, if it's not equal or higher than the frame rate of the footage in your project, it won't run real time. Accept the best combination, so Neat Video will use this accordingly. I will delete this clip and I will put a clip on the timeline with noise. This is a clip that shows a camera gain switch from 0 dB to plus 12 dB. At 0 dB, the footage looks clean, but we don't see that much. When the camera is adjusted from 0 to plus 12 dB, we see much more, but we also see lots of sensor noise. Let's see what we can do with Neat Video. Apply the Neat Video filter to the clip. Once you have applied Neat Video, drag it to the first position in the information palette. This is very important to get the best result of using Edius and Neat Video together. Double click Neat Video in the information palette. Check if the video scan type matches your project. In this case, since Progressive is the default of the Neat Video filter, it does not match my interlaced project settings. I now change it to interlaced. The next step is to click Configure so that we get to the Neat Video user interface. You will see that Neat Video notifies you that the plugin is 64-bit and you will see your CPU and GPU information. On the bottom, you will see information about the clip you put Neat Video on. Neat Video does not process in 10-bit yet in EDIUS. So even if you have a 10-bit project and use 10-bit assets, you will see that Neat Video will report 8-bit. Also, EDIUS processes in YUV, but Neat Video 
will report RGB on YUV assets as it processes in RGB. At the bottom right, you will see the frame information. When using interlaced footage, you will see that the display will show the full width and the height will show half times two. This is because an interlaced frame is made up of two fields. Neat video will show the two fields on top of each other. In a progressive project with progressive footage, you will see the full height. The first thing Neat Video needs is a proper profile of the noise in your video. Neat Video gives you three options to do this. Automatic, with automatic fine tune, semi-automatic, and semi-automatic with manual fine tuning. To automatically get a profile, press the auto profile button. You will see a blue box. This blue box means that Neat Video thinks that this area is an area with no important details, but only noise. Always check if there are no details in the selection box, which are important to you. The auto profiling can make mistakes. When you use auto profile, as I indicated before, auto tune is automatically applied after it. So there's no need to reapply it. To see the filtered result, of the selected profile, click on the noise filter settings. You will see a preview of the clip with a noise reduction applied. Notice the filtered indicator top right of the preview window. If you left click on the preview window, you get an unfiltered preview. There's also a preview button which you can use to see the original image and the filtered image. apply and exit. Because noise reduction is a very intensive process, the clip will most likely not play real time. I suggest you use Shift plus Q to render. On the file which is created by the Shift plus Q render, you can apply other effects and keep real time playback in EDIUS. I'm going to show you how to use Neat Video the semi-automatic way. I'm going to do a manual selection. I left click on the image to draw a region. When doing this, you may see a message Neat Video displays to help guide you in an accurate selection. The manual selection box will appear green. Take green borders mean that this is a good selection. Thin green borders mean that the selection area is okay. Thick yellow means that this is enough. Thin yellow means that it is barely enough. And then you get red and the auto profile button is unavailable. Whenever possible, you should aim for thick green when you are manually selecting. Check if you are happy with the results. If needed, apply a bit of sharpening. Neat Video also has an advanced mode, but this is beyond the scope of this quick tutorial. You can access the advanced mode by going to Tools and selecting Advanced. This will give you more options in both the Device Noise Profile tab and the Noise Filter settings. More control to tackle the noise. Neat Video is a must-have tool in every editor's bag of tricks.